Let's look back at the highlights of sports technology more from a sort of general level, considering that, you know, this was the most unique year in entrepreneurship yeah. uh, in the modern age. And because of that, uh, you know, in 2020, people had to do, you know, virtual meetings, you know, there were virtual accelerators, things that had never been yeah. done before, engagement and content, you know, like we at Sportages saw a huge boost in, in the sort of um, uh, audience that we had because of the pandemic. Yeah. So what are some of the key insights that you can provide to our viewers or listeners in regards to 2020 and what sort of been the highlight in the sports tech world? Interesting thing is, especially between uh, March to June last year, one of the things is sports rights holders who've always circled around gaming had decided just to jump in. And then the idea is once you jump into gaming is how do we broadcast it? How do we deliver really interesting content around it? How do we integrate teams and athletes and then a bit of the grassroots? So what, what the pandemic, what the, what COVID-19 taught sports is, uh, it really faced up to how complacent a lot of rights holders and a lot of um, clubs, uh, franchises really are and how very few revenue streams they have. Things that they might have experimented with in 2016, 17, 18, into 2019, something you're circling around and considering, you got thrown into the deep end and you had to do it. You had to think of digital engagement solutions, gaming, uh, utilizing your assets, utilizing archives. You had to think of things that you, it was always this nice to have, but now we have to. It's, and it forced it in, it forced it in a matter of weeks. That's one thing. So gaming is one. Um, that's all, that, was, that was one of the big ones. I mean, and obviously 2020, what's, it's probably the, it'll always, it will always look back as a year that fitness changed so dramatically digital fitness at home fitness you look at uh, you look at companies like apple you just released apple plus in december uh apple fitness sorry um you look at peloton and tonal and all of these companies that are be that were bubbling on at the 100 to 500 million dollar mark and now breaking a billion uh, knowing that 2020 will be the year that digital fitness broke and broke through like in spades